excitingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Continue on Mountain Road for three quarters of a mile. It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. We're gonna do some yard sailing today. No GoPro. Um, I'm just not in the mood for that today. Um, so we're gonna see if we can find anything good. We're gonna um, have a nice haul video afterwards, obviously. So let's see what we can find. Okay, so not too bad in here. Um, unfortunately, the lady's son passed away and they're getting rid of some of his things. And I was talking to her about my brother. My brother just called me couple days ago and told me that he's got lung cancer so you know it's unfortunate you got to live life to the fullest and just one day at a time because you just never know and I feel for her and I feel for my brother unfortunately he has lung cancer and he doesn't want to stop smoking he doesn't but anyway that's neither here nor there um I got this Jackson is it Jacksonville Jaguars because I know they're always changing teams this one has an autograph on it um, I can't, I don't really know. I'll probably find out. A lot of times these are worth about $50. It was two bucks. Um, depending on what the autograph is, I know the helmet itself in that case is worth about $30. They're usually like 25, 30 bucks. So with the autograph on it, depending on who the player is, he could be retired, Hall of Fame, you know, whatever the case may be. Because I believe they've been, the, um, they've been the Jaguars for a good bit now, probably since like, maybe like, 2005s maybe a little later um but i know it's been a while it's been a long time but uh anyway i'm gonna look that up later and deal with that for two bucks it was definitely a steal so on to the next sale it's really nice out here but right out by the lake pretty cool just finished up this yard sale i think that works if i turn the camera around i'm gonna clean my hands up a little bit um not too bad. Got some Pepe Le Pew, some vintage Russell Stover plush. Um, the, I think one of them is the cat. It might be another one, but they're Halloween ones, so Halloween's coming up. I'm going to get them listed today. Um, I got to go to the bathroom too, unfortunately. Um, maybe I'll just find a bathroom real quick, but this wasn't too bad of a yard sale. Picked up a Lord of the Rings set. I thought it was a um, it's brand new box set of books at first i thought they were vhs tapes because they're about the size of vhs tapes but they were the book so i think the set's worth like 25 bucks so i spent 16 dollars. so not bad i got a bunch of stuff like i got a, I got a few things i got a couple items of clothing like a tommy hilfiger a vintage t-shirt just a couple things so not too bad we're gonna go to the next one i'm gonna probably find somewhere to go to the bathroom it's about that time i gotta I gotta go pee pee, so you know, pee pee, voice is all scratching, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go hit another one up. All right, so that yard sale, there was like, um, everything was like 50 cents for clothing, a dollar items. It was probably a really good yard sale in the very beginning. Um, it's still early, it's only 9.30, but I don't know if it was, oh, if it was here yesterday. I don't know what the deal was, but um, I got a couple pieces of clothing, got a Burton, like ski, like small ski pullover jacket, something like, like a zip up. It's got a little stain on it. I'm going to try to get the stain out. I figure for 50 cents, I take a chance on it. I'll show you guys the other things. I got a couple electronics. I got a, um, I got a big button telephone. I, I just sold a phone yesterday. They seem to be selling a little bit more. Um, whenever I talk about something, it's funny. It sells. It's like, it's kind of weird. Like, have you ever noticed that when you talk about something, it'll sell on eBay? Like, is your phone listening? Is it promoting when, you, like, what's going on with that? I, I think I'm just superstitious or I'm just probably losing my mind a little bit. But anyway, we're going to go to another one. I'm going to see, I think there's a couple more. So I'm going to hit up a couple more yard sales and then we'll continue with the haul video. All right, I probably should have did a little bit more research on them. I got a, a PlayStation, I think it's a PlayStation 3. 
controller brand new and a um, GameCube controller brand new and a used GameCube controller. Okay, so I got these polos and marshals. Camo joggers, brand new, Ralph Lauren polo sport style. They even say polo sport real big on them. Some people were selling them for like 150 and then some of them are going for like 80 I'm going to price them high. Either way, I'm going to make money. They were $30 a pair. I think I got six pairs. Six, twelve. Yeah, I got six pairs. I spent $179. I should get my money back off two pairs. The rest should be profit. So, good money. Yeah, so that was a really good score in there. Sometimes you got to spend money to make money. I'm hoping that they don't sit for a while. They are selling. They're, they're selling all the time, constantly. If I sell them for like... I had that song stuck in my head in the store. So this was in TJ Maxx. Or no, this was Marshalls. And uh, they were $29.99. They retail for the MSR. The manufacturer suggested retail prices. The MSRP is um, $188. So, I mean, they're like really expensive in, in the mall or in Macy's or wherever you, you know. I mean, the least you could probably get them in the mall is probably like a hundred bucks. So, I'm thinking if I sell them for a hundred, they seem like they're pretty light too. So, they might ship, you know, really cheap. Probably for, you know, definitely under, under seven dollars. I mean, if I got to put them in an envelope, so I'm gonna try, I see people getting like 150 for them. So what I'm gonna try to do is maybe I should just, I'm gonna get my money back this weekend because I'm gonna list, I'm definitely gonna work. So I'm not really worried about it, about the one, the $180. I'll, I'll get it back like that. I just made $40 while I was in the store. So I sold a Targar, Targaris, um, a Razer um, keyboard, kind of like a mouse or whatever ergon not ergonomic but what something like that but anyway I sold that for $38 so I made that while I was in the store so I mean I'm making money all the time I'm not really sweating it I'm just wondering how long it's gonna take for one pair to sell if one pair sells for 150 I'm in like Flynn I mean I don't know why some of these people are getting 149 for them maybe they're just being really stern with their price and uh, they might have a really good record. I'm gonna have to take a look at their um, their track record, their feedback. Maybe they have 100% feedback. They ship really fast, have a really good store. Um, sometimes those things do matter. You can get more for your items. But anyway, we're gonna do the haul video as soon as I get back to the crib. I did do one of these, pa poof And then uh, I was expecting to jump into that video, but now I don't know if I'm gonna stop at um, Ross, I was going to go to Ross. I even put the shoes back. I was going to get a pair of New Balance for $35. I had a couple pairs of draws, polo. Dra Anytime I see polo or um, or Tommy Hilfiger boxers, I always jump on them because they're the most comfortable boxers in the world. But I put them back. I got plenty of shoes, plenty of draws. So um, I need to make some money this weekend. So I'm hoping if I sell one, even if I sell them for $100 and I sell two, I'll still have four pairs left. I'm going to make like $400 profit off of these, off of 200 So I should be able to turn on 180 well, one, yeah, 180 was it 169 I think it was 170 They were $30 a pair, 369 $179, it was six pairs. So $180, I should be able to get my money back right away. And then I should be able to sell four pairs. You know, I can take an offer for 80. I can take an offer for 100. Like, I can take offers once I get my money back, you know. Or I can sell them all for $80 and just make a, you know, a clean 50 bucks profit off of every pair. Still, that's a lot of profit for one item. $50 profit is awesome. I mean, even after fees and everything else, that's, that's awesome. That's what you got to look for. That is the score that you are looking for. So anyway, um, I think I am going to go run into Ross real quick. You never know. I might find more of these pants. Um, I bought every pair in the store. They were all extra large. I didn't see any more. I did 
After that, it was time to go because I knew I had spent enough. So maybe I should just go home and just get these listed. They're easy listing. I'm just gonna copy pictures. Um, I'm just copying stock photos. Even other people's regular stock photos of the actual item are really good and like totally white backgrounds. So um, I'm copying everybody's pictures and just going, going for what I know because I know those pictures are selling. So I'm gonna go with them and then just get these listed and I think I'm gonna list them for 150. And I don't think I need to promote them. I think they're just that type of item. If I throw in a couple more keywords, like vintage style, some, you know, 90s style, anything like that, um, even in the description, you can put those things in and they will show up in search. So I'm gonna do that and that's a little bit of info for you guys if you don't know that. Um, anywhere you put these keywords is gonna show up in search. If you put them in the title, in the condition, in the description, anywhere in that, in those areas are helping you. That's why eBay is pushing with the item descriptions because they want their they want your items to sell because if your items don't sell, then they don't make any money. So why would they not want your items to sell? It doesn't make sense for them to not want you to make money because the more money you make, the more money they make. That's, it's, that's just common sense. So anyway, I'm getting all excited and all hyper, but um, yeah. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna skip um, Ross and I think I'm just gonna go home, get some listings done. I got enough stuff in the trunk. We'll get to this haul video right now. Okay, welcome back to the basement, AKA the dungeon. It's Rock from Flip the Thrift and we are back at home. So now I'm gonna show you exactly everything that I picked up today. You won't wanna miss it. Don't turn that channel. Okay, now this was just a Reebok, um, just a hoodie type of athletic um, pullover, uh, sweater, don't really know what this is, but it was only 50 cents. I figured I could probably get about 15 bucks for that. All right, um, I've heard of this brand before, Breeches. This is 100% wool. It's just a really cool um, full zip uh, vest, 100% um, wool. So it's in pretty good, really good condition. Okay, so this has a few stains on it. It was only 50 cents, but this is made by Burton. Burton is um, obviously is a um, like a ski brand. They do all kinds of um, ski and they make ski jackets and things like that. There's a little bit of dirt on the back of it. Um, I don't know if that was from being in my car or if it was already there, but there is a stain right there. But that looks like a stain that I can probably get out. Um, um, it just doesn't look like the type of material that if I scrub the material, will it will wear the color out of it. So I, I should be able to give that a, de a decent scrub to get that out. So if I get that out, I'll probably get about 30 bucks for this. Maybe, maybe 20 or 25. So we'll see. Um, I think these were 50 cents a piece. This is Carol. Um, is it Carolina? What is it? Avalanche. I know it's hockey. I know for sure that this is a hockey team. I'm not sure if it's, Car is it Carolina? I don't even know. Colorado, right there, duh, right in front of me, okay. Yeah, I knew it was Cal or something, but um, there was two of these, they were 50 cents. I figured I'll just sell them all together along with the banner, um, and I'll probably get about $20, $20 maybe maybe a little bit more, depending on what they're worth and if they're vintage. I'm, I'm not sure if they're vintage or not, but, um, I don't even know if hockey season is in right now. I don't really follow sports like I used to. So I don't really rem I don't really remember. I never really followed hockey anyway, so I don't really know when hockey, you know, begins or ends or or whatever, you know. All right, so I found an Agio bag. Agio's a pretty good brand. It's not a great brand, but it's a good brand. So um, it will definitely sell. This is a nice computer bag. Um, Usually when I find these, they always have names on them. They're always um, like companies or something stitched in them. And it takes a really long time to take stitching out. So if it's not like a $100 or $200 item, it's not worth taking the stitching out of it. So it's best to just not pick it up. So um, I paid 2 bucks for this bag. $3, I think. I paid $3 for this bag. And this should probably sell for about $25 to $30. Not a bad looking bag. Really super clean on the inside. That's why I picked it up. Okay, these I got at one of the first yard sales I went to. This is just like a shooting jack. This is really good the safety back. It's probably made in USA. The tag is like really kind of gone, but um, just a really cool, like a hunting type of deal. I probably won't 
have to wash this. It was only 50 cents. I mean, you know, you can't beat that with a bat. So I grabbed that for 50 cents. Depending on how old it is and the model and whatever, you know, if it was like, if it was Woolrich or an older, maybe L.L. Bean or something, it might be worth a little bit more. But I picked this Woolrich set. This is the whole set. This was five bucks. I got the pants to go with it. So really good pickup here. Um, these are lined. Woolrich. They look. They look pretty clean on the inside. Didn't even look at the pants. I just, I seen $5 and I just kind of jumped on it, but it's in pretty good shape. I don't see any stains really on the pants. They look like they're in pretty good shape. So this whole outfit, this is really nice quilted on the inside. This is a nice, um, this is like a, um, like a field jacket, hunting jacket, whatever you want to call it. Probably just a hunting jacket. It's got a hood on it too. It has the clip on it for your hunting, um, for your hunting license, fishing license, whatever, you know, whatever you're doing. So, not a bad Woolrich find. Really old. Um, if I would have found that anywhere else, it would have been way more than $5. Probably like $25, maybe $50. So, um, I expect to get more than $50 for that set. Since I only paid 5 for it, I can actually take, you know, decent offers. Um, okay, so, i got a couple old hats. Got this Green Bay Packers. Brand new with tags. Not really sure what these are worth. If it would, if I would have found a Raiders today, that would have been really nice. Um, if you find Raiders, old Raiders hats and jackets, um, pick them up because they're definitely worth a lot of money. And so this is, I, I think that these are vintage. They're probably from the eight, from the nineties. These are from the nine. You can tell by the brim, you know, the um, the the bill, whatever you want to call that. This was brand new with tags. I don't like to pick up a lot of racing stuff, but it's new with tags. It probably sell. Um, I probably somebody will probably buy this as a gift for someone for Christmas. Um, this is just an NRA National Rif Rifle Association. The the foam is actually deteriorating on the inside, but that's okay. Um, you can still sell them. I'd usually just wrap and put them in plastic so that they don't get all over everything else. So we're gonna go ahead and put this over in another area so that the foam doesn't doesn't um fall onto other you know onto other items, transfer or whatever you want to call it. All right. <clears throat> Try to make this a quick video for you guys. I don't really like to make really long videos. I picked this up. I thought that this was. I thought these were. I thought they were. Um. I thought they were VHSs. It would have been nice if this had been a DVD set. But it was only five bucks. The set sells for about twenty-five. So this is the whole set of Lord of the Rings, the books. Twenty-five, thirty dollars, something like that. There was only a few things at this one yard, so I got some shoelaces. Anytime I find white ones, um, these are really good white shoelaces, like the ones that actually come with like Nikes and you know Reebok and things like that. So anytime I find laces like this, I always pick them up. These are good lace, good thick laces. So they were only, I think they were fifty cents, something like that. I'll pay up to a dollar for them because it's worth it. Okay, so this is, I think this is Russell, Russell Stover. Yeah, it's got somebody's name on it. It was given away as a gift, but that's okay. I'll just put that in the description. It's not going to make a very good gift then. This one has a name. I didn't notice that. Uh, they could probably just take the tag off. But this is Pepe Le Pew from Looney Tunes. That's the... It's cool because... Um, I guess this would be Halloween? This would be for Halloween, right? Yeah, he's the devil. That wouldn't be for Valentine's Day, would it? I'm not really sure. But there was two of them. They were only 50 cents, so I grabbed them. These, believe it or not, are selling for over $20. Like $20 a piece. $22, I think, the last one sold for. And then I believe... Is this Pepe Le Pew, too? I think this is Pepe Le Pew, also. Um, I wonder if it says it one. It's not the cat. This is 95. These are vintage, brand new with the tag. They also, these these are all written on, so that might be an issue. It may not. I don't know. Um, they could always maybe put a sticker over top of that and put somebody else's name on it. It's it's possibility if it's going to be given away as a gift, if not a collectible. But um, for someone that's a collectible, that collector, that will definitely bring the value down for for the piece. So yeah, I'm like, Arr. all right. So yeah, they're both. 
because the other one's not a skunk. The other one is the female, and the other one is the cat. And he thinks that it's a skunk, but it's not. Okay, so we all know that story. I forgot I had this CD. This is the P. Diddy Forever album. This is a really good album. It's one of my favorite albums by Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, whatever you call him, wants to call himself. But I looked at it. It was really good. Pretty good condition. It's the silver Silver album. This one actually has the slip. I may just rip it and maybe just resell it. Um, it's not in very good condition, so I'll probably just keep it. May take it out of the case and just put it in my car. So, whatever. I bought that for myself. Um, these I got at one yard sale. This was a dollar. This is the charging station. My kids might actually be able to use this. Um, I think this is for a PS4, though. I don't think that that plug is a is a is a USB. I don't think that's the micro. I don't think that's the micro USB. I think that's just the basic USB. And it's a little bit too big for the um, Xbox the Xbox One. So I don't think they're going to be able to use that. I have to plug it in and make sure it works. I don't know the value. I don't know what it's worth. It was only a dollar. So it's probably worth about 20 bucks, maybe 15. But these are the real things, reason that I bought anything from this yard sale. We have three controllers we have this one this is a dual shock 2 this is a wired controller i think the wireless the, the silver wireless one is the one that's really worth a lot um actually no that's the gamecube one i i, I bought two gamecube ones too but i paid a little bit up for these i paid 40 for three of them so i may have paid a little bit higher but i think the gamecube one is the this is the one that's worth the most this is an an Official Nintendo GameCube controller. I believe that this controller is worth about $60. Because the GameCube controllers used are about $25. So, they were. They fluctuate. You know, they go. They kind of go up and down. And this is the silver one. That's the black one. Anyone that has the silver system is going to be looking for the silver controller. And I can test these on my, on my, um, my Nintendo. Yeah, this is the silver one. This is in good shape, too. Really good shape. This I don't think that this was used. I believe that this is new. Yeah. This doesn't have a scratch on it, and the plug is, like, perfectly wrapped. I, I actually believe that this one is new without the box. So I think that's what we're going to sell it for. This is new without the box, so this doesn't have a scratch on it. I'm going to put it back in the bag. It's actually worth a lot more. Then, so we have two new GameCube ones. That's really good. So that's good. So I didn't know it was new. I thought it was used. I just grabbed it. So kind of threw it in with the bundle. All right. So I picked up these shoes. I think the shoes were only a dollar. What is in the bag? What was it? Ooh. I don't know what was in this bag, but that's going to need to be washed. Whatever that was. I might have to throw the box away. I don't know what that is, but it's not on the shoes, is it? These are non um non bush. It's not a very very good. I think I smell smoke too. Oh, is that chew or dip in the bag? I think that they grabbed the bag that somebody might have been spitting in. Ugh. I don't think that that was very nice of them. I don't like that. Okay, so hand sanitizer. I think that's what that smell is. I think I smell chew. That was pretty disgusting. Oh. oh, God. Imagine that one. Thanks a lot. That was a really nice um person to do that. They probably didn't know. I asked for a bag, and that's what they gave me. I didn't actually want the shoes in a bag. They're already in a box. I think I would have noticed that when I picked that box up if it was all nasty. All right, well, that's what you get when you go out. You got to be ready for anything, I guess. I'm just going to have to clean it up. It's just the box. I mean, I don't, the box is not going to raise the value, but the shoes, I think they smell like smoke a little bit, so we'll see. I hate buying things that smell like smoke. You know, you just can't walk around smelling everything all day. It's like you're just trying to find things. That's not really something that you focus on, but probably a good idea. All right, so this is a Land's End. Um, Land's End, these are going to be selling right now because it's, gonna, it's getting 
it's starting to get really cold. So this is actually really nice. This is a, I'll probably wash this to kind of separate the, you can wash, this is a down vest, so it's feathers. So what you can do is you can you can wash it. Um, I would use like baby wash, you know, baby, baby wash, or there's another, uh, there's stuff that I use. It's very gentle. It's a really gentle, um, mild detergent. Um, you use that and then you can dry it in the dryer on low with tennis balls and the tennis balls will move around in the dryer and they will separate the feathers in the jacket. So that's what you need to do. But this is really good. It's yellow. Yellow is not a great color. So I, I don't know how well yellow sells, but that should do pretty decent because it's starting to get cold out now. All right. So I seen these. I think all the shoes were $2. These are wrestling shoes. Um, unfortunately, they're a little small, which is the only thing that's really kind of not good because of the size. We got a little knot here. There's actually Velcro. I think we may be missing straps. Oh, so, yeah, somebody ripped the straps off. See, I didn't know that. I didn't take notice to that. Well, they're missing the straps, so that's going to lower the value. There's supposed to be a strap here. Maybe that's a common thing with these. But if you find these Nike ones, this particular model of wrestling shoe, they're they're worth a good bit. Like these are probably worth about fifty dollars if they weren't missing the straps. I paid two bucks, so they'll probably sell for about thirty dollars now because they're missing the straps. But still, not a bad profit. But I didn't notice that they had straps, so I did not see that. Found this little Tommy shirt, just a little something to throw into the, it's in really good shape. It's got the flag, it's got the 90s tag on it, that's the 90s tag, which I believe that tag is coming back. Um, it's not real old, but it's in really good, pretty good condition. Um, it's got a little Tommy, little Tommy patch at the bottom. It's like some, every time I pick shirts up that are older, they're just, they're not even at the bottom. So... Yeah, it's okay. I probably I shouldn't have picked that up. It's just it is what it is. I, I just sold these pins. Um, actually, I got an, a question on the nineteen eighty four. Was it eighty four or ninety four? I think they were older than that. They're Olympic pins, but this is a ninety six Atlanta. This is a um just a little keychain, just a cool little collectible. It was like fifty cents. Um, it's probably worth about fifteen bucks, maybe ten bucks, but. I was listening to um, I was listening to one of the resellers talk about collectibles, and I picked this frog up just just to see what it's worth. I didn't even look it up. I just wanted to just you know kind of bring it home and look it up and see what it's worth. It's made by it's been made by Nomad. Nomad is the name of the company that makes it. It's just a little frog keychain. Um, uh, the auction professor. Um, I believe his name is Dom. Is it Don, 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 the auction professor? Um, thank you for giving me, um, hope I didn't butcher your name. Thank you for giving me ideas. I just kind of picked this frog up just to see if it's worth anything, you know, just for the heck of it. Just for, you know, it's, it's and giggles. All right. So I picked these up because these are new. Um, kids are going to need clothing. Um, actually these have, these have a, they got a stain on them. See that? See, you got to pay attention to what you're picking up. There's a big, there's a line from here down to there. I might have to pull the tags off of these. I might have to redonate them. I think they were two bucks. I might be able to get that out. We'll see. All right. So anytime you see this on Eddie Bauer, when you see the, when you see the number system on the Eddie Bauer jackets, this is a 365. Let's see. Anytime you see the number system like that on these jackets, these they can be worth a good bit, especially the down ones. If you can find the down ones, they're worth a good bit. Um, I didn't look this one up because jackets are only two bucks. It's in decent condition. It's got a little bit of dirt around the um around the sleeves. I'm gonna wash it, probably hit it up with some spray and wash and, and get those get those out. It's not really bad, it's not really dark either. So if it doesn't come out, we'll be okay. Trash. I love trash. 
Who's the one that's always picking trash? He's actually from Pennsylvania. Ah, oh, what's his name? I can't remember. I don't remember what his name was. I'm not really sure what this is. Clear ring amplified. She was just ready to just get rid of everything. So everything was like a dollar. I think this was a buck. I think I seen it online on eBay sell for like 25 bucks. Anywhere from like 21 to like $25. So still not bad from a dollar. Um, they're definitely selling. This phone is worth a good bit. I did kind of drop it. Um, it's a future, future call picture care phone. Um, I guess you put the pictures in it, and but I just it's got some smudges. I was really hitting it with goo gone, and I'm having a hard time. I will get that off. I mean, if I have to scrub it for another, you know, I this phone is new. It's actually brand new. I have the have the the cord and the um the manual right here for this. So um, I'm gonna have to put a little bit more elbow grease into that, and then that'll be good. Telephone amplifier. Maybe I will include this with that phone. It's actually a pretty good idea. Maybe if I put this with the phone, I'll get like 40 bucks. I think that this this was worth like $20 too. Something like that. Right. These were... I think she just threw them in. I don't even really know. But I think the rubber... There's supposed to be rubber right up in there. The, the screens are perfect. The phones are in perfect condition. The antennas are still... Antennas are still working. I remember having flip phones like these. These are Verizon too. Verizon's one of the best networks. So I'm going to charge them and see if I can find... Maybe it's just a basic charger. That would be nice. Let me see. I got to... Try to get that out of there. Man, that's... That's really tough getting that out. Holy crap. Yikes. Jesus. All right, we'll, we'll definitely play around with that later. But I think these pieces up in here melted because I had to wipe it all off. At first, I thought, see how it's like kind of smearing? That's that rubber inside of there, I think, is melted away. So I may have to kind of clean that out and then it just won't be there. I might have to maybe I can replace it with something. I don't know what the deal is with that. But um, I took a chance on them. Don't know why. It is what it is. All right, so these were free. I didn't look. I believe that this is Animaniacs. That's the Animaniacs. So it's just the straw. So I was like, well, maybe somebody's just looking for this one piece. I may be able just to sell that and they might have the cup. Um, who is this? It's playtime. Six flags. What year is this? 2005 Coca-Cola Company. Right, this logo and the contour design, Coca-Cola. I have no idea. I don't know what this is. I just thought it was a really cool cup. I thought it was older than that. It's actually 2005, but it was free. Probably one of them things where they just went to Six Flags. They probably used it one time and they just kind of put it away. Um, and they didn't really use it again after that. It's just really cool. I don't know. I have to do more research on that. I don't know what that is. I don't know what movie that's from. I, I, have, I don't even know if it's from a movie. So that's it for that. Um, there's a pair of headphones. I picked these up. They do work. I tested them in my phone. Um, it's just a pair of Sony's. Um, these are nice headphones. I can probably put with like a Discman or um, I can lot these with something. And last but not least, this was from... I got these... They were, I bought six pairs for $30 a piece. I'm going to list these immediately. Um, these are Polo Sport. What is that? Uh, I hope that comes out. I don't know. See, I'm just, today is just one of them days. But look, so I paid $30 a pair. I got, I got six pairs. So I spent $180. Each pair retails at $188. Um, they are selling online for 150 up to 150 um, They're just really cool, like swishy. I think they'd be a little too big for me. They have the big polo sign right here and the big polo sport. So anybody that's into vintage clothing or vintage wear is definitely going to want these. 
Um, I'm going to cross list these. I'm going to put some of them. I'm definitely going to put them on Depop. Depop also works with, um, with, um, which we call it, uh, with PayPal. So I'll get paid right away and then I can just ship the item. So that's totally awesome. All they have to do is just leave you a positive review. It'll be good to go. I'll put them on eBay. I'll put them on, um, I may even put them on Poshmark, but Poshmark is mainly just for low ballers. Um, people will definitely talk me down. I don't like that. Um, it's just as bad as eBay, if not worse, with the low ballers. Now we're going to clean up this, whatever this is on this box over here. Ugh. But uh, ugh. that's why I quit smoking. It's disgusting. Um, um, I never really tried dip, so I, I never chewed. I don't, I don't know. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys like my content, um, please, thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends. And peace, I'm out.